Oi, what a week it has been for the British royal family. Questions surrounding the public absence of Catherine, Princess of Wales, after her abdominal surgery have only grown. As you likely know, news agencies pulled a doctored photo of her and her three kids, which was designed to show her seemingly healthy and happy. No detailed explanation yet from the royal family. Now, Catherine's sister-in-law, Meghan, and Prince Harry are facing questions over a surprise announcement online that's unrelated. Details now from Issa Suarez. I wish you bluebirds. A new business venture and a social media comeback for the Duchess of Sussex. After a six-year absence from Instagram, Meghan has launched American Riviera Orchard. Little is known about the brand, but the timing of the announcement is raising eyebrows here in the UK. Across the Atlantic, on the very same day, Prince William honoured the legacy of his mother, Princess Diana, at an awards ceremony. His brother and Meghan's husband, Prince Harry, joined live via video link and thanked those working for keeping her memory alive. Despite the warm messages, the event was overshadowed by the relentless saga surrounding the Princess of Wales. It's the question that has taken over the internet. Where is Kate Middleton? Everyone is still talking uh, about this picture. Wherever you stand on Kate's spiracy, there's no doubting its impact on the reputation of the British royal family. They've really, really messed up. They really have messed up. They have messed up, yeah. Which has been swirling in the media and amid the public for nearly a week. It all started with this photo to mark Mother's Day in the UK, meant to calm fevered speculation over her health. But in the end, only made things worse. The image, put out by Kensington Palace, is the first glimpse of Princess Catherine since her last public appearance on Christmas Day. The only problem? It had been edited. By the end of the day, major international news agencies had withdrawn the image, citing manipulation concerns, including the French-based AFP, where Eric Barada is a photo director. Everybody started at you know, enlarging, zooming in the picture and noticing straight away that something was wrong. And after a few hours, uh, all agencies in London decided to pull the pictures together. With the palace in damage control, the princess issued an apology on social media, saying, like many amateur photographers, I do occasionally experiment with editing. I wanted to express my apologies for any confusion the family photograph we shared yesterday caused. She was spotted briefly on Monday alongside her husband, William, in the car leaving Windsor for a private appointment. But AFP's photo director says a doctored photo raises serious questions about trust and transparency. You thought you were tricked. Did you feel you were tricked? Yes. Our position now will, uh, will be that every image, still image coming out of Kensington Palace will clearly be scrutinised very thoroughly before we decide to put it out to our subscribers around the world. It's often said that the royal family has to be seen to be believed, but when you don't believe what you see, then a whole host of conspiracy theories start swirling online. I did a search for Kate Middleton photos, you can see here, and there are so many just circling right now on social media, from the insensitive to the outright outlandish. Still, some in the British public believe Kate has a right to privacy. There's a lot bigger issues to worry about in the world, really, but people should just leave her alone. It's blown out of all proportion. She did a little couple of tweaks at home. End of story. Blown out of proportion or not, one thing is clear. With King Charles's ongoing cancer treatment and the mystery around Kate's health, the royal family is dealing with a PR battle on several fronts. Isa Suarez, CNN, London. Joining me now with some data on all the royal drama is Harry Enten, who's a big, you're a big royal watcher. Oh, I'm a huge royal watcher. I am just so, so happy to be here. There's a lot of interest. So, I mean, this is huge, obviously. This is so huge. You know, when I found out that I was doing this t segment, I got so many texts from people within the company who just were saying, I'm so looking forward. Is that an actual Blackberry you're using? It is actually a knockoff Blackberry. It's a okay. Unihertz from China. It's oh, wow. it's like a blueberry a little bit. It's like a national security issue. It may be, either right. way. So what's the, the well, national interest? The, the national interest is huge. There are more people who are searching for Kate Middleton over the last few days than searching are searching online. Searching online, correct, not searching for her. They're not going to her house or anything like that. 
search, then searching for baseball, then searching for Donald Trump, mm -hmm. then searching for Joe Biden. The interest in this story, Anderson, in one word, is tremendous, and I find the whole thing to be absolutely delicious. Uh, okay. Um, Megan, the Duchess of Sussex, has launched this new brand. Where does her sort of popularity stand? Yeah, she's launching this new brand, and I'll note that we don't really know what the heck this new brand's exactly going to do. It seems like a lifestyles brand. You know, they're going to sell jams, jellies, cookbooks, perhaps. I feel like you're the target customer for this lifestyle. I am experience. absolutely <laughs> the target customer for this. Let me tell you, I love going in there and, you know, making some nice sandwiches. Sure. Yeah. But uh, I will note, Megan is not all that popular in the United States. She's more popular than Donald Trump or Joe Biden, but her net favorability rating is significantly lower than uh, any of the other big royals, right, than Meghan or William or Harry. And I think this is going to be a real question going forward. Could this brand actually succeed? And then the other real question is, given Kate's high popularity, she's sort of the face of the royals, will these okay. scandals really drag her down?